one is the Amsterdam 1313 and I'm wondering how many of you have thought of making your own web browser probably like something better than Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox well uh, I'm gonna show you how to make your own simple web browser now it's not gonna be like the back button with like a, a good complex um, uh, web uh, browser like this no just like the simple type and go thing so so uh, first thing you'll need is a computer that will run Windows and the second thing is a keyboard and a mouse a computer monitor which is really obvious and Microsoft Visual C Pound 2008 Express Edition I'll post the link in the description to download it mm. so while this uh, is configuring the environment uh, I will pause this video configure the environment alright now click new project Windows Forms application and give it a name let's just say uh, tutorial no spaces underscores but no spaces I don't know about no spaces but don't try spaces and it'll load up solution explorer and you will see form one now I can't move this so I'll zoom in alright next um, go to view properties window and resize this uh, application to um, uh, 640 by 480 so uh, yeah right there 640 comma space 480 and it will expand and uh, text Rename it to your uh, browser. In this case, tutorial. Now on this, you can do spaces. All right. Next, go to the toolbar. Or I mean the toolbox, and select Common Controls, and uh, go to uh, the browser, the web browser, and drag it onto the form one. Now resize the browser. Wait, uh, first uh, change the name to uh, my browser or whatever you want. I'm just gonna choose my browser. And uh, resize the the browser to um, uh, 607 by uh, 385 sometimes it won't work just uh, leave it like that and uh, don't change the minimum size or whatever now go go back into your text bar and select the text box place it at the bottom Oops, uh. alright there we go now uh, select a button. There we go. Now uh, give text bar or the text box, however you want to call it, the name of T B U R L T B U R L and uh, location X. Uh, all right, location 12 by uh, 4, I mean uh, 411. And there we go. And scroll down. Size has to be 526 by 20. It'll expand and... Uh, Now the button. Give the button name. 
BNT go. BNT. Oops. Uh, go. And um, location X. Location X is uh, 544 by 409. That might have been the default one. Alright. And text is go. <laughs> yeah, it's just simple go. Now, if you, now, you, you might think, oh, this is it. I'm just gonna run it. No, just typing stuff and clicking go won't do anything. So, uh, double click the go control and you should find the code. And where the cursor is, type in your browser name, in this case, that you typed in the properties, in this case, my browser, yeah, my browser. My browser dot navigate and then left colon TB URL. Uh, there we go. And then dot T text. Oops, uh, text. And then, uh, right cursor and then semicolon and then press F5 and uh, it should run oh there we go now go to test it go to your favorite website like uh, let's go to uh, my YouTube channel so www.youtube.com slash Alex Ram 1313 and you can't just click push enter you have to click go and uh, it will connect to the internet eventually oops come on All right, whatever just uh, go to Yahoo or Google so google.com see if I push enter it won't do anything so I have to click go and show. Eventually, it'll do it. Well, you get the point. Uh, if it will work sometimes, and sometimes it won't. So uh, there you have it.